Hey, Janine. Hey, good morning, Joe. Good morning, how are you? Good. Hello, Vera. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, guys. I don't know why my camera is not working right now. I'm going to see if I can fix it real quick. Oh, how's everybody this morning? Cool. Good. And you? Good. I'm good as well, except I don't know why my camera's not working. I think it's because I'm using a different computer and I haven't used this computer in a while. Ah, well, I'm not sure how to fix this, but um, <clears throat> we'll continue on anyway. So, hi everybody, my Hello. name is Joe, and today we're going to be working on basic, basic writing skills. So this class is for for the, the, the levels kind of below intermediate. So if you're at an intermediate level in writing, then this class is probably going to be very, very easy for you. But um, what we're going to do is, before we do this, everybody is going to, I want everybody to introduce themselves by saying the country that they're from um, and their level of writing. So I'll go first. My name's Joe, and I have a good writing, good level of writing in English. Um, so we'll start with Ahmed from the uh, very left. What is your picture? What is your video? My video is not working. I apologize for that. I've tried fixing it. It's mm. I don't know. So what's missing going part on. of communication. I know, I know, but we're going to be using, um, I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and that's going to be the main way that um, this class is going to go, so um, it's not that important in this class, but yes, it is a very important part of communication. Yeah, my name is Ahmed. Uh, just say uh, hi, my name is Ahmed. Hey, what's your level of uh, writing? What would you say? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, <coughs> I don't know, but uh, I studied four years uh, in the university uh, that conducted in English. It, it's it's what? I spent four years studying in university conducted in English. Ah, okay. So you probably have like an intermediate level of writing. Yeah, like okay. that. Good. Good. Cool. Okay. Uh, Baris. Uh, hello. Hello. What's your? Where are you from? And what's your level of writing? Uh, I am from Turkey. Uh, what's the level of my writing? Yeah, like your your writing abilities. What what would you say? Are you at a a beginning level in writing English, no. or? Maybe an intermediate. My writing is good. My uh, speaking is weak. S speaking's bad. Writing's good. Okay, so this class is focused on writing skills, but um, it may, it may help you. I don't I don't know. Um, you said that you're at an intermediate level, but this class is mainly focused on helping those who don't have um, good writing skills, who maybe are at a uh, beginning level of writing. But nonetheless, you're you're welcome to be here. Um, okay, Tolga. Yes. Um, my name is Tolga, and I'm from Turkey. And my writing is not bad, but I can say good. You can. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Um, next, we have Flavia. Flavia, are you there? I think your microphone may be muted. Okay, sounds like she's not there. Um, okay. Uh, Junaid? Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Junaid. I'm from Iraq. I live now in the United States, Arizona. My level uh, depends on uh, Pima College writing 100. 
Really? Wow. So you're taking a college class on writing. No, I, uh, first they told me you must take the assessment, assessment test to, and to know your, your level. How did that go? I got uh, writing 100. Writing 100. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So that sounds like um, it might be a little higher than, than a beginning level. I mean, beginning level in the college, but maybe not beginning level in um, like compared to just English and writing English in general. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Cool. Uh, next, Luis. Hello. Hello. So, uh, I'm from Brazil. And um, my skill, my skill level is beginning. Yes. Beginning. beginning. Okay, good, good. So this class is definitely going to help you then, because um, we're going to be focused on just. There we go. I got my camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good, cool. Good. All right. Most important part of communication. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, now it's good. Good, good. Okay, uh, Sergio. Hello everybody, I'm from Brazil. Uh, I don't know I don't know exactly my level of reading, but I can understand without effort at least ninety percent of what I read. Ninety percent. Okay, so you're probably adding what do you read though? What? What do you normally read? Oh, um blogs. Blogs in English. Blogs. Okay, so this is so this may not help you. Um, it's just mainly focused on basic, basic writing skills. Um, but like I said before, you're welcome to join, and and this may help you. This may not. Um, Umut, are you there? I think your microphone may be muted. Yeah. Okay, there I we go. I can't hear you. Yes, I am afraid of speaking and. I can write clearly. That's all. What What was that last part? You 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 write clearly. Mm. I want to. One minute. You can pass me. You, wait. What? You can pass me. Okay. Pass, pass. <coughs> Okay, all right. Um, uh, last we have Vera, right? Yeah, right. Um, I don't know how to explain my uh, writing skills. I don't know. I could, uh, I don't know what what's the level. I think maybe it is intermediate or maybe a bit uh, higher. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, I would say intermediate. If you can read. Um, <clears throat> Let's say if you can read like Matt, if you think you could read, uh, like news articles and have I, an understanding. I read, I read books in origin. I read books in origin, but I don't understand everything. Yes, of course, of course, yeah. Um, so what we're this class is mainly just focused on because a lot of the classes on verbling that we're offering right now are for intermediate level, and um, I've gotten some messages on Facebook about offering classes for people who are below the intermediate level. So that was my intent with doing this class. So it might be very easy for a lot of you. So. Um, We'll start out at like a really basic level, and then if I see that it's easy from everybody, we'll we'll move it up to like a more um, intermediate level. But the way we're gonna do this is I've created a Google Doc, and I've made it so that anybody with access to the link can edit it. So um, all we're gonna do is I'm gonna paste the link on the Verbling chat, and then basically. I'm going to give you guys a question. I'll write the question. Um, then we'll make sure. That, then we'll make sure that everybody understands it. And then after that, um, you guys will write your name and then write your response. And then we'll go over them and make sure that you guys have spelling. Everything's spelled correctly. You're using uh, your grammar, your nouns, adjectives, everything correctly. So um, that's how we're going to do that. So first, I'm going to share my screen and then I will paste the link. Um, so here's the link so you guys can all open it up and when you guys type on there everybody can see it so I have it open for the people in the chat um, 
So here it is. So it looks like all of you are looking at it. You should be able to write. Um, does, can somebody try writing for me just to double check that they can write? Anybody? Can anybody just write something right here? I tried uh, to write something, but they don't accept. It's not working? Okay. It's not working. Let's see. Any other link? Um, here we go. Can edit. Okay, there we go. Now, now try it one more time. See if you guys can edit. Just write anything. Your okay. name. No, you George. can't. Do you know yeah. Joe? There is. Uh, there we go. It says that somebody's writing. Yeah, yeah I write. Okay. I can't. I can't write. Who cannot write? Me. Me. Sergio, I can't. Sergio, you can't write. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try one other thing to see, cause I know you'll be able to write with this. It's called uh, "Type with Me." So this, I'm just gonna open this up. I'll send you guys the link for this. Um, and it should work. Let's see. If this doesn't work. Then we'll go back to the um, we'll go back here. Okay, so this isn't this isn't working. Okay, so Sergio, maybe I just changed it. Try refreshing the page, Sergio. Okay. Because if because I just changed it, so it looks like most people can write. So if everybody could just write. Yeah, maybe. yeah, I can write. Okay, so if you refresh the page, you should be able to write. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, so um. First thing we're going to start off with is just um, the way we introduced ourselves. So um, I'll do I'll do my example first. So um, hi, um, my name is Joe, and I'm from the United States. So can everybody just underneath me um, just start making a line and start uh, writing? the exact same format so like hi my name is the way this is the way you would introduce yourself um, so I just want to make sure that everybody um, understands that you put a comma after hi um, and you spell everything right I had just finished okay yeah when you're done um, don't worry just hang tight and we'll wait for everybody else to finish I think we have like nine people so there should be about nine names. And make sure um, you always capitalize the name of countries. So Ahmad from Syria, you need to capitalize the S in Syria. And then also um, I'm, you can see it, you can say I am or I'm. Uh -huh. And then you have a comma after hi. You say hi, comma, my name is Ahmad and I'm from Syria. There you go, perfect. And then a period at the end. And that's your first sentence okay so it looks like we have one two three four five I think we're waiting on like two people so I know this is really basic but we're just doing this to make sure um, just to see you to kind of assess your guys' writing abilities a little bit So you guys can change them up if you like. Maybe add some smiley faces, add some exclamation points, anything you'd like. So like, if you guys were entering the chat, um, or like you were entering a verbal class and you you couldn't get in and you were writing your name you might say this you might say hi my name is Luis and I'm from Brazil so this is um, an, an example of when you might use this uh, sentence okay so like if you guys were entering the chat um, or like you were entering a verbal class and you you couldn't get in.
Okay, so did everybody write there? We have Sergio up here. Sergio, can you write um, yes. hello and then also the country that you're from? Just following following this format. If you here, I'll, I'll write the format too, just just in case anybody here is um, confused. My name is. Then you write your name, and I'm from country. Okay, so we're waiting. Okay, Sergio, looks like you wrote your name here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like two people aren't haven't written, but um, either way, we'll we'll go on. So <clears throat> so we have, hi, my name is Luis, and I'm from Brazil. So everything's correct there. He's got the comma. Um, he's got the apostrophe here and the period. Capital Brazil. That's good. Um, okay, we have Noor from Saudi Arabia. So. Nor it looks like you have a few errors. You, you need you, you need to put um, hi is one word and everyone is also one word. Somebody has me on in the background. I think it's save us. Um, okay, this is Nor from Saudi Arabia. So you don't when you are putting a period, any kind of ex, uh, punctuation. That's what it's called. Um, period exclamation point uh, uh, question mark. You're going to attach it to the last word so you don't put a space then you're going to capitalize the next word so that's why you have this is capitalized this is nor from Saudi Arabia period perfect um, okay moving on hi my name is Joe correct hello my name is Valerio and I'm from Brazil so if you guys look Valerio put a comma right here you can do that I don't know the technical rule for that um, but usually like a good rule of thumb is anytime you would pause so like hello then you pause my name is Valerio pause and I'm from Italy that's the best way I mean if you don't know the rule the best way you can guess if you need a period is if you need a pause if you if you pause when you're saying it um, so right here hi my name is Ahmad and I'm from Syria hi my name is Vera and I'm from Russia, Moscow. Okay, so one thing there, when you're saying the city, um, in English you always say the city first. So Moscow, comma Russia, and then a period. So I didn't expect you to know that, but that's just a rule um, how you do that. Uh, hi, my name is Sergio, and I'm from Recife, Brazil. Okay. Hi, my name is Junaid, and I'm from the United States. Okay, so Junaid, um, one thing, I know you live in the United States, but technically you're from Iraq, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you say I'm from, you might want to say, the, the, way, the best way probably to explain this is to say I'm, I'm, yes, I'm from Iraq, but I live. So you would say, get rid of the I'm, and you say I live in the United States. <clears throat> Yes. Okay. So, does anybody have any questions about this this basic form of writing the sentence? No. No, that's okay. 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 So it looks like you guys all understand this. So, I'm going to um, scroll down a little bit, and we're going to have. I'm going to give you guys a question. So it looks like everybody is at a pretty pretty good level of English. So I'm going to write another basic question. Um, what did you eat for breakfast? today. So everybody can just answer. I'm not going to do an example because it sounds like you guys have a pretty good understanding of English, but if you have trouble, um, please let me know and I will give an example. So we're doing this just to practice writing. Um, you know, these are some questions you might be asked if you're chatting with a friend on Facebook or through, I don't know, AOL Instant Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, just wherever. Example. So I'm not sure how many people we have. I'm going to say seven or eight. Let's see, one, two, I three, think Joe, four, five. We six. need to put our name after the sentence. To That's know. probably a good idea too. 
Put your name. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that, Junaid. <laughs> Either that, or if you guys want, um, you guys could read your sentences. Which whichever you want to do. Do you guys want me to read them, or do you guys want to read them? No, I think you can read this and uh, correct. Okay. So, okay, I'll do that then. Um. So it looks like this is everybody. I mean, at least at least in the classroom. If, if you guys are not in the classroom and you're in the chat, you guys are welcome to write next to these two, and I'll read your sentences and correct them as well. So anybody is welcome to write a sentence. Okay. So it looks like everybody is done. Um, okay. So first we have Luis. I ate a banana. So that's perfect. Um, Definitely a good way to respond to this question. That's correct. Uh, next, we have Sergio. I forgot to eat. Okay, right here. So, um, right here, you have I forgot to eat for breakfast. So, um, I right here you would just say I forgot to eat breakfast. So. Um, with like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you never have an article in front of it. You never say the breakfast. Um, you never say like a breakfast. I mean, at least at least in this sentence, you don't say a or the. You just say breakfast. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know how best to explain that, but um, this is just an example of when you don't say the. Um, I d I forgot to eat breakfast, but I ate some bread with cheese. Perfect. Good job. Um, Junaid, I didn't eat anything today. Good. Um, Valerio, I ate biscuits. And then you might want to say, so here you have two sentences. I ate biscuits, I drank a cup of tea. You might want to connect them just because they're both short. So you might say, um, I ate biscuits and I drank a cup of tea. So that's just a recommendation. You can say, I ate biscuits, I drank a cup of tea. But um, it sounds more natural if you say, I ate biscuits and I drank a cup of tea. And you also could leave out I. You could say, I ate biscuits and drank a cup of tea. Because at, um, for after the and, the drink refers to you, Valerio, so that's why you don't need the I there. You can have it, um, but you don't need it. You, you could use it to clarify, but it's not necessary. Does that make sense? I think, Joe, we, we must depend on your question. Because you must. The form of our answer depends uh -huh. on your question. Like, for example, what did you eat? We must put I ate. Uh -huh. Some people, they, they use I forgot. Uh, well, well, like, well like, Junaid, that's, that's a good point. Though the thing is, um, I, so when you did when you do eat something for this for this question if you do eat something if you did eat something for breakfast then you're definitely going to start it out with I ate a banana mm -hmm. but if you didn't it's okay for Sergio to say I forgot to eat breakfast that's a it's an appropriate response for this question um, you can also say like you said I didn't eat anything today mm -hmm. you could also say I didn't eat anything for breakfast because that's more specific to the question because this question is just what did you eat for breakfast so you can say I didn't eat anything today because um, <clears throat> like it could be the morning and, and um, people would understand what you're saying and that's perfectly fine. You don't need to specify and say breakfast um, but like Sergio, he forgot so he can say that. So both of these are correct. Okay. Uh, and then also Vera says I didn't have breakfast today. I got up too late. So. Vera could say, I didn't eat, eat breakfast today because I got up too late. Um, because this act, uh, what she did, um, she got up too late. That action caused this other action. Since she got up too late, she didn't eat breakfast today. So that's why you say because. Um, okay, so oh, Nora. Uh, it is an obligation to say this word because. W what was that? It's an obligation to say this word. It's not an obligation. You could say, I didn't have breakfast today. Um, and uh -huh. then you could put another period, I got up too late. But mm -hmm. because it's just, it's just um, it might be more common. You might say, like, I didn't have breakfast today because I got up too late. You're just explaining yourself, basically. You're explaining why you didn't have breakfast today. Maybe because I think in Russian it's, it's more just common in Russian. It's, it's, ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, and then Nor wrote, I had a sandwich in fruit juice. So you can say, I had a sandwich in fruit juice. Um, you need to attach the period at the end and then a space for your name. And then sandwich is spelled um, without the T. So it's just sandwich, just like that. Okay, so somebody's asking a question. Um, is that Vera? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I didn't have breakfast today. I got up too late. Uh, can, is that your question? Yes. I think, I'm pretty sure, I always get confused with these. I think instead of that one, you use this one. So that's a, this is called, this punctuation is called a semicolon, and you use it when you have two sentences. So I didn't have breakfast today, and then you put this. I got up too late. And you use it because these two things are related. Because it's this is explaining why you didn't have breakfast today. Mm -hmm. So you use yeah, this. Because, because in Russian we have just, I don't know how it's called, two dots or how to call it. Yeah, it's uh, called a colon. Russian. Okay, okay. So when you might, um, does anybody know when you might use the, the double dot, the colon, this punctuation? Does anybody have an example? Okay, no, so it sounds like nobody does, so I'll give an example. So what you could say, the way you would use it to this question, um, um, you might say, I ate a lot of things. Um, you might say, I ate a lot of things for breakfast. Um, and then you might list them. So an apple, a banana, um, an orange, cereal, eggs and bacon. So see how this is a list. I just listed the things. That's that's one way you use this colon. Only one? Yeah. There I think there are other ways. I'm not 100% sure, so I don't want to say something and then have it be wrong. Um but I know this is definitely one way you use it. You use it for lists. Um, yeah. So d does anybody have any questions about this? No. Okay. Do you think you guys are ready for a more difficult question? Yes. Okay. Um, so let's see. Um, do you... Th um, so here's the next question. Do you think the world is going to end on December 21st, 2012? And then also why or why not? So this question is a yes or no question, but you have to explain your reasoning. So this is going to be maybe a little bit more difficult. If anybody is struggling or has a question or isn't sure, please ask me and I will help you. But otherwise, um, write your answer and also write your name after your answer, please. Okay, so we're just waiting for everybody to finish, um, and then uh, we'll start correcting them. And don't worry if you make a mistake. You guys are probably going to just because writing in English is difficult, um, and you're all learning, so don't worry. 
this this way that you're all writing it together and you can see each other writing it um, that way we can look at the mistakes together and understand why um, it's incorrect Okay, and guys, please remember to write your name after so that way I know whose is whose. So we're just waiting for a few more people to finish and then uh we will look at these. Okay, so it looks like most of you are finished. Wait, I think we have one, we have like two other people finishing up. Um, so we'll let that person finish up. Um, Make sure to write your name too, please. Okay. So this person's finishing up. Um, and what we'll do is we'll start with Luis's. But some hold on, somebody's it's kind of hard to hear. Okay, there we go. Okay. So do you think the world is going to end on December 21st, 2012? Why or why not? Okay, so the first one we have is Luis's. No, I don't, because I don't believe in the end of the world. Okay, so um, one thing, Luis, this is a very, very common mistake, especially among, pe among natives, because I, I used to do this when I was younger, when I was first learning English too. You never want to start a sentence with because. So oh, really? yeah, don't yeah, don't worry. No, don't. it's a very common mistake. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So what you want to do instead is just connect these two sentences. You can you can do that. It's okay. So no, I don't because I don't believe in the end of the world. And then all you forgot was a period. But yep, that's a good sentence. So no, I don't because I don't believe in the end of the world. So um. Toga, you have the same same mistake. I don't I don't believe it because I think it's a bad joke. Yes. <laughs> and only God can know the future. So um, same thing. I don't believe it because you can just connect those. Um, you could also say I don't believe in it. That might sound more correct. Um, I don't believe in it, like in the end of the world. Because I think it's a bad joke and only God, and God is always capitalized. Even if you're not religious, it's just always capitalized in English. Sorry. No, no worries. We're all learning. Um, okay, so, no, I don't. Uh, only God oh, sorry, can know. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. Only God no, can know the future. So, that's perfect, Tolga. Good job. Thank you. Um, Valerio? No, I don't think so. It sounds so odd to me. Um, it sounds so odd to me. Some people are just super t superstitious. So that's a that's a really good sentence, Valerio. All of these, this is fine. No, I don't think so. Um, it sounds so odd to me. So that's that's good the way it is. Um, some people are just superstitious. Perfect. Um, okay. Nor, I don't think so. Uh, space here because we don't know exactly when the world is going to end. Very good, Nor. Um, so I don't think you need a comma here. Um, 
but I mean that's you you could put a comma there, but um, you probably in most cases you won't. Um, <clears throat> so somebody asked Luis, did you write this? Can it be? Yes. No, I don't because mm -hmm. um, you it can be that, but I don't think you put the comma there. You just put no, I don't because because this is a continuation. Okay. So, uh huh. But yeah, exactly, um, just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah, of course. And if you guys have any other questions, please ask. So, good job, Nor. Yours is good. Um, so then we have Vera. I don't think about it. So, um, you might... That's fine, but you might want to reply to the question also. And since you don't think about it, you might say, I don't know. Um, I don't think about it. Just like that. Or you could say... You could also say, I'm not sure. You could say, I'm not sure, I don't think about it. Or you could say, I don't know, I don't think about it. Does that make sense, Vera? What? Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Junaid, I think the world is not going to end on December 21st, 2012, depending on the expectations of scientists. Okay. Um, so, one thing, when you're making, when you have the verb... Uh, to think. So we have this verb to think, and whenever you're putting, whenever you're making it negative, like making the sentence negative using the verb to think in the beginning, then you're going to want to make the beginning part negative instead of the second part. So, so here you have, I think the world is not going to end. It sounds more natural to say, I don't think the world is going to end. So okay. see how I move the negative part to the front? Yeah, yeah. I start my sentence. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Uh huh. Um, that's. I think you're going to do that most of the time. It just sounds more natural. Um, okay. And then also, uh, something you probably didn't know is you 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 want to write out December, um, December 21st, comma 2012. And anytime you put a year, usually, like when you put a date like this, it's December 21st, 2012. You're going to put a comma also after the year. Okay. That's just a rule. I don't. I don't know why. Um, um, depending on the expectations of scientists. Um, so I don't think the world is going to end on December twenty first. Depending on the on the expectations of scientists. Good. Okay. okay. And then Louisa. No, I don't think so. Um, so always make sure to capitalize I and add a period. And then also Louisa. I think you forgot just an explanation why. So tr try and include that. Um, then we have Sergio, no, comma, because there, there's no proof, um, comma, you could say, it is just a calendar. And then you can, this thing is called an ellipsis, you can do it for like suspense, um, you could also just put a period, um, either way it works, but good job Sergio. Uh, then we have Umut. Um, so you're going to want a comma after, or you're going to want a space after the comma. You always put a space after the comma. Um, no, I'm not be believe in it because it's ridiculous. So here you want to say, um, instead of I am not believe in it, you say I do not believe in it. Mm. Because it's like doing an action. It's like you do not believe mm, in it. Because okay. believing in it is an action. Mm, okay, thanks for watching, sir. Yeah, of course. Good job. Um, then we have Nilufer. No, I don't believe. I don't believe. You could say in it, um, or I don't believe it. Either way. And then um, same thing. Uh, you're just gonna want to add that to the sentence because nobody knows it. So you're not gonna capitalize nobody. I think. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure you do that in German, right? You capitalize the nouns. So um, that's probably why he or she, he thought that. Uh, Nobody is capitalized because nobody knows it exactly. Uh huh. Good job, um, Rodrigo. By no means, I believe that the world will last forever. So, um, by no means, you might want to just say no. Um, like you could say, by no means do I believe. Um, so I'm kind of confused. It depends on what you want to say. You could say, by no means do I believe that the world will last forever. 
and that means that you're saying you don't think the world will last forever. But you could, I don't know if you're trying to say by no means um, do I believe it. And then you could say I believe that the world will last forever. So it just depends on what you want to say, Rodrigo. It's just a joke, yeah. Okay, you think it's just that you think the world will last forever. Okay, so you'd say, by no means do I believe it. Okay, so that question was a little more difficult than the first one. Do you guys want me to stay at the same difficulty, or do you guys want me to ask more difficult questions? More difficult. More difficult. More difficult. Okay, so it sounds like most of you guys want more difficult. So, um, okay. Um, Let's see, what's a difficult question? Um, okay, so this one, you're going to want to write a few sentences. Um, I'm not expecting like an essay, but just maybe like three sentences would be good, or four sentences. So, um, how has technology impacted society in a positive way? So this is going to be a little more difficult. If anybody <laughs> has uh, has has trouble or, or or struggling and needs help, please let me know and, and I will help you. But same thing, just write a few sent. Oops, somebody's writing in bold. That's my fault. Um, there we go. Um, so just explain how technology has impacted society. Maybe use like two or three examples um, and write a f write like a mini paragraph basically and then we'll correct them together <clears throat> and also don't forget your, to write your name And make sure, if you guys can, you separate them out. So um, that way I know, like, this sentence belongs to somebody's paragraph and this sentence belongs to somebody else's. So um, I think I'll just do that real quick. There we go. And don't worry, this is a difficult question, so I'm expecting a lot of errors. Um, and errors are part of learning a language, so if you can't make errors, then you're not going to learn the language. So don't, don't worry about making mistakes or anything. Uh, we're all going to correct each other and learn this together. This is a difficult question. And make sure it's at least maybe two, like at least three sentences, because there's a lot. This topic is a lot. is really big. You could write an entire essay about it, but I'm not going to make you guys do that.
So if you guys have finished, just hang on tight. We're just waiting for everybody else to finish. Um, I think we have like four more people finishing. Um, also, remember, make sure that your paragraphs are at least three sentences because this is a big question. You can write a lot about this. Um, so maybe include some examples of how society has impacted us in a positive way or technology. Um, so maybe use a few examples, um, you know, any anything that you can think of. And um, and yeah, that's that's about it. Just looking for a few examples and an explanation of, of why you think that or how technology has impacted us in a positive way. Okay, so um, I think we just have a few more people finishing up. It looks like most of you are done. Um, Vera is done. We have one person above Vera working on Rodrigo, Luis, Luisa, Nilufer, um, Junaid, Tolgas. Looks like you're still working. Nord, we have one other person working. So um, just try and try and finish up. Um, we we have 13 minutes left in class, so. Uh, this will probably be the last thing that we get through, but don't don't worry about those mistakes. You're most likely going to make them. This is a difficult I'll question. Learn. What was that? Okay. Um, looks like this person. I can't tell if you're finished. Um, anonymous user. You have a purple. Um, Purple, what's it called? Uh, right there. Okay, so it looks like you're finishing up right now. Um, then whoever's up here, looks like you need to add maybe two more sentences. Tolga, if you could add maybe one more sentence. Danny finished up. Um, okay, so we're just waiting on two more people. And then we'll start correcting these. Okay, it looks like nobody else is typing, so we'll we'll get started at correcting these. Okay, so we'll start with the first one. We have Noor. So the question was, how has technology impacted society in a positive way? So Noor wrote, it has. Okay, so he's still writing. Still writing. Okay. And Togo still writing. So we'll, we'll give you guys like another minute. Okay. So Noor, it right, looks like you're finished. Um, it has made us more connected socially than before. Um, it has made the whole wide world as one. Nor can you move your, your mouse? I can't see um, what this says. It has made the whole wide world as one. I don't know what this word says. People are getting... To, okay, thank you. Also... Um, also, people are getting to know about each other more than before. Okay. So there are a few, few mistakes here. Like I said, everybody's going to make mistakes. So it has made us more connected socially than before. Right here, you only want one space after the period. You put three, I think. So one space. It has made the whole wide world um, as one. Also, people are getting to know about each other. So right here, you're going to want a period. It has made the whole wide world um, as one. I think you might want to say it has made the whole wide world. You could say as one. You might want to say one. Like we're all, it's made us one together, like one big group. Um, and then when you put a period, you're going to want to capitalize this. Also, also comma. So it's kind of that pause. Also, comma. People are getting to know about each other more than before. So you might want to say people are getting to know each other. Uh, know about each other. People are getting to know each other. We'll take out this a but or about getting to know each other better than before. <coughs> so yep, yeah, that's definitely a very positive impact. Good job, Noor. Okay, next we have Tolga. Technology is a good thing. Sometimes makes the people um, asocial, but technology 
develop our communication and help people to heal disease, diseases. Okay, so um, technology is a good thing. So there are a few errors here. Technology is a it's a singular noun. Um, so sometimes um, you're going to want to say it makes, or you're going to want to say technology. You need a you need that there to to specify what it's referring to. So sometimes it makes the people asocial, comma, but. So these are when you're going to see commas. You're going to see it with buts a lot, um, comma. But technology develops. So, so you had this here, right? Makes, but you also need develops because it's singular. Develops our communication and helps people um, heal diseases. You don't need to, so you just say people heal diseases. So good job, Toga. Um, that's all good. Okay, then we have somebody else. They didn't sign their name. Thanks to technology, we can use Verbling and other resources to learn languages. So here you don't need this these dashes here. Um, those dashes, they're very complicated to explain how to use. Um, I learned in high school, and I learned in one of my honors English classes. So, I mean, it's a, it's a difficult thing to to use and to understand how to use. I don't know the, the technical rules, otherwise it would explain, um, but most of the time you're not going to need those. So thanks to technology, um, we can use Verbling and other resources to learn languages. Good job. Um, okay, next we have Junaid. I think the technology helps people to connect in with their friends and families. Also, it helps making the life easy. Finally, it makes the education more exciting. Okay, so we have a few just small errors here, um, very common. Um, I think right here, you're just saying technology. You don't need to say the, because um, it's just technology in general, basically, so you don't need the. I think technology helps people, and then right here, um, you're just saying um, technology helps people, and then what? The verb, so connect with their friends and families. Okay. Uh huh. Also, it helps make um, the li it makes life because life is general too. So you don't need the makes life easier. So anytime you're gonna um, put like more easy, usually you can add er. So like you take off the y and add er, and add er, so you have easier. Uh huh. Good job there. And then finally, it makes. And then education is also general, so you don't need the. So anytime you're saying referring to something general like education, life, technology, you're not going to use the. Okay. Uh huh. So good job there, Junaid. Thank you. Um, okay. Next we have Danny. In my opinion, thanks to technology, the society has advanced a lot. For example, nowadays we have numerous new machines at hospitals. What recovery? Our health. Okay. So a few common errors here too. In my opinion, um, you might want to just take out thanks to, because you could start it off thanks to, but since you have my opinion, you might just want to do technology. That's just a thought. You, you could put thanks to, but it, pr it probably will sound better without thanks to. So technology, um, and here it looks like you have just a few things in the wrong places. So technology has advanced a lot um, society. So um, I think society is the direct object here because technology and then verb has advanced a lot. So that's an adjective, society. So technology has advanced society. So um, this is how you're going to write that there. Then you're going to want to put a period and start off just like this, for example. Nowadays, we have numerous new machines at hospitals. And then also, what recovery our health? So it looks like um, you just got mixed up with what and that. So you're going to say that um, recover our health. Because here's the verb. Um, and so the hospitals do this, our health, and then a period. So that's it. Um, good job, Danny. Then we have Nilufer. Technology impacted our life in a positive way. Um, 
For example, at the moment I learn English on the internet. Good. So, technology impacted our life in a positive way. That is a correct sentence in English, but your verb tense is incorrect just because um, it makes it sound like technology is over. But technology is going on every day, so um, it continues to impact us. So, the way you're going to conjugate that is has impacted our life in a positive way because it's done it in the past. It's it's it has impacted our life, but it's going to impact us in the future. So that's the reason you use this past tense versus impacted. Then, for example, at the moment, I, capital, for example, um, so you need a, you attach the comma to example, then at the moment, I learn English on the internet. So that's good. Um, the way I might say it, you could say I learn English on the internet, and I think internet is technically supposed to be capitalized, I'm pretty sure on that. Um, you might want to say, for example, at the moment, um, uh, I am learning English, because you are right now. Right now we're practicing English, so that's true. And this is happening right now, which is why you use this verb tense. Um, and then also at the moment, you might want to see, you might want to say, for example, I'm learning English on the internet right now. Because it means the same thing as at the moment, but you use at the moment in a different way. You might say, like, at the moment, I am busy and cannot learn English. Or at the moment, I am busy and cannot participate in the class. In class. Um, hold on. Somebody has verbling open in the background. Okay. Um, good job, Nilufer. Okay, then we have Louisa. The technology is so good for all people because thanks to this, we can learn languages. We can find information about the interesting topics and learn about other countries in the world. Good. Um, I like that. So the technology... So the technology... Okay, um, okay. Nibal, you're going to have to close... Gonna... I'm going to have to mute you because nobody can hear me. Um... The technology is so good for all people because thanks to this, we can learn languages. Okay, so the technology, you might want to just say, um, like what I was saying to Junaid, technology, because it's general. Technology is so good for people, or all people, and then take out this comma, because, and then you might want to take out thanks. You might want to say thanks, um, thanks to thanks to this, we can learn languages, comma, we can find information about um, and then interesting topics, you're just being general, so you just take out the. We can find information about interesting topics and learn about other countries in the world. Perfect. Good job there. Okay, we have three. Oh, I'm going to try and finish these real, really quickly. The technology helps a lot of people over the world, mainly with the medicine. Yes? Yes? Sorry, Turk. Hold on. We're just trying to finish these up real quick. We have one minute left. Um, technology helps a lot of people. Um, then you're going to want to say around the world, because over the world, um, it doesn't it doesn't make as much sense as around the world. Around the world, mainly with and then medicine, same thing, general. So whenever you're saying something in general, you don't need the. So you just say medicine. Besides that, the technology. I forgot an H there. Um, that's it. Same thing. Take out the. Technology helps people, because people are general, to learn, to earn money, to cook, etc. Good job, Luis. Uh, Rodrigo, it has helped much in our lives. For instance, in a hospital, we can make surgery with the help of some equipment that has a good technology. Okay, so it has helped much in our lives. For instance, in a hospital, we can perform so make is is um, it makes more sense to say perform surgery that's just kind of like a, a phrasal verb I think um, perform surgery with the help of um, you might want to just say equipment instead of some equipment because that sounds more natural with the help of equipment that has uh, good technology so that's good there um, then we have umut. For example, if people use, so you're not going to capitalize if, if people use technology for lessons, it can help them. Um, and then, for instance, verbling. Verbling can help 
whoever wants to improve um, their English. So um, there, because you're referring to them, English is capitalized. Um, and then you just had some errors with uh, verbling singular can help. Um, whoever wants to improve their English. Uh, okay. In addition, people, so make sure to put spaces after commas. People should know what to use. Um, then many people don't know what to use. Um, uh, or you might want to say um, how to use English correctly. Don't know how to use, oops, to use English correctly. Um, We'll just add correctly. Good job, Amut. Um, the impaction of technology is really great. We can attend this class with help of modern equipment. We can also learn languages, speak with people from all over the world, and so on. Okay, so you might just want to say impact. Um, impaction, I don't know if that's a real word. <laughs> I think it, it might be, but if it is, it's not very common. Uh, but it's just easier to say the impact of technology is really great and then you might just want to say for us like explaining why it's great um, we can attend this class with the help because it's specific the help of modern equipment or modern technology is probably um, a better word there we can uh, you can say we also can learn languages speak with p people from all over the world and so on good job Verda okay um, so it looks like that's all uh, looks like a, a lot of people left. Um, I hope that helped you guys. Um, did did you guys find that helpful? Yeah, thank yeah, you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, so I'll try and do more of those. Um, so it looks like most people that came were intermediate. I might do some more easy ones, um, but you guys are still welcome to come, even, even if it's easy and if everybody is intermediate, we'll move up. Um, <clears throat> but if you guys have any specific um, like writing topics you want to work on, um, I'll, I'm just going to write the Facebook page that I made. Please let me know because otherwise I'll just try and come up with um, some common questions. But facebook.com slash Joe Verbling, like it and maybe suggest any writing topics or, or anything else you have that you um, might need help with. Let me know and I'll try and schedule a class for it. But thank you guys all for coming and I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you, thank you, John. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. You're welcome. See you guys. Bye. Bye.